How long does it take to reprogram a key fob after a battery replacement? Hey there, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking about the time it takes to reprogram a key fob after a battery replacement. If you've recently replaced the battery in your key fob or you're planning to do so, it's essential to understand the process and how long it typically takes. So, let's dive in. Understanding Key Fob Reprogramming To begin, let's briefly explain what key fob reprogramming entails. A key fob is a small electronic device that allows you to remotely control certain functions of your vehicle, such as locking and unlocking the doors or activating the alarm. Over time, the battery inside the key fob may lose its charge and need to be replaced. When you replace the battery in your key fob, you'll often need to reprogram it to ensure it works properly with your vehicle security system. Reprogramming typically involves following a series of steps that allow the key fob and the vehicle to communicate and sync with each other. Factors affecting reprogramming time Now, let's discuss the factors that can influence the time it takes to reprogram a key fob after a battery replacement. The actual duration may vary depending on several factors, including 1. Vehicle make and model. Different vehicle manufacturers and models may have varying reprogramming procedures. Some vehicles may require a simple process that can be completed quickly, while others may have more complex steps that take longer. 2. Key fob technology. Key fobs come in different types, ranging from basic ones to advanced smart keys with additional features. The complexity of the key fob technology can affect the reprogramming time. Smart keys, for example, often require more involved procedures than traditional key fobs. 3. Reprogramming method. The method used to reprogram the key fob can also impact the time it takes. Some vehicles allow you to reprogram the key fob yourself using a specific sequence of button presses, while others require the use of specialized equipment or a visit to the dealership or a locksmith. 4. Experience and familiarity. Your experience and familiarity with the reprogramming process can influence the time it takes. If you've done it before or have a good understanding of the steps involved, you might be able to complete it more quickly. However, if it's your first time or you're unsure of the procedure, it may take longer as you follow instructions carefully. Typical time range for reprogramming. Now that we've covered the factors, let's discuss the typical time range for reprogramming a key fob after a battery replacement. In general, the process can take anywhere from a few minutes to around half an hour. It's important to note that this is a rough estimate, and the actual time can vary depending on the factors mentioned earlier. For simpler key fobs or those with straightforward reprogramming methods, you might be able to complete the process within a few minutes. On the other hand, if you have a more complex key fob or a vehicle with intricate reprogramming requirements, it could take closer to 30 minutes to successfully reprogram the key fob. And that wraps up our discussion on how long it takes to reprogram a key fob after a battery replacement. Remember, the time can vary depending on factors such as the vehicle make and model, key fob technology, reprogramming method, and your experience with the process. If you're unsure about the specific steps required for your key fob or if you encounter any difficulties during the reprogramming process, asterisk asterisk it's.